we're going to click on create, OK? And we're going to click on document. So this is going to be called exercise number two. From the team's uh, assignment folder. And so normally we draw on the front plane, so we click the front plane. There. Are you drawing your two uh, utensils up here? And we want to draw. Uh, use the line tool here. Basically, since this is a a diagram, they are not a basic shape. Uh, some instructions will show you how to create a basic shape, but we're just going to use the line tool for this for this a particular sketch. That's all I'm going to use is a line tool. But I'm just going to familiarize you with the line tool and you can just click over here and start drawing the object. The object looks like. Let me see. Since I got a copy of it here, I can just trace what I see here. Uh, it comes over. I just start at any point. Goes up. And goes across. That little minus that the minus sign there looks like it lets you know that the line is straight or parallel or whatever. Go across and I'm going to come down. And I'm going to at a certain point there. I'm going to click. I'm not even worried about how, how far because I'm changing those dimensions here. And then I'm going to go across. Go back up. See that little dotted gold line up there? It tells you the lines are equal height. Then I'm going to go across. I'm just sketching what I've seen on paper. That's what I'm doing. See? And I'm going to go down here. Looks like it's at the same height over there on the other side. Let me see that right. Mm, up, down, up, over, down. Sketch what you see. And then go across here. That little that little bar there below the, the hairline lets you know that that's a perpendicular line. You know? I'm going to come down here. I'm just sketching the diagram I'm, I got right there in front of me. Then I'm going to go across here. Then I'm going to go back up and close the loop here. Close the, the uh, right there. Go across there. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't <laughs> my sketch is off a little bit. But it's supposed to, uh, we want to make sure it, it just closed the loop there. So there's my shape there. Hit escape button to get rid of that extra. I'm sorry about that little error right there, but uh, you 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 can figure that out. All right. Uh, so that's my shape. And then you can say, well, the, your diagram has dimensions on it. It says it's one point one and three four inches all the way across here and so forth. So to do that, you come right here for your dimension tool here. You click on this line here. That point there and this point here. Okay, and go up right there. Click and change that to 1.75. Hit enter. OK. All right, do this. Just repeat this and reduce this right here. Repeat this all the way across. Since it's already highlighted here, you don't worry about uh, clicking on it again. One here, here. 1.75. It's almost almost got it accurate. Put in 1.75. Hit enter there again. And click here. There. Match them up there. Make it look nice and neat there. 1.75. Hit enter. Okay. See how I'm making it uh, making my drawing look nice and neat here. Here. Click there. This is how you draw with precision, students, but sorry about that little error there on the left corner. I'll go, you can figure that out. 1.75. This is for demonstration purposes only. Okay. You can move that 75 to the middle there. Make it right there. Okay. Hit enter. Did it go in? Well, enter there. Click outside there. Okay. And then, okay. It just says, how high is this thing? It says it's five and one half inches high. So still got dimension is highlighted here. See, I'm just using dimension tool only. I'm going to click here and the bottom is it and the bottom down here. 
it says it's almost got it right. It's five and a half inches. It's this should be five point five. Hit enter. Okay. Then it says from this point, from this point to this point right here is um four inches. So I'm gonna click here and click here. Come out to the right here, almost four inches. I'm gonna put a four there. Four, enter. All right. And the dimension says, uh, my my diagram here says, from this point right here. I'm looking at I'm looking at my diagram, students. That's where I'm getting these numbers from. From this point here to this point there, my diagram says they want that to be two two and a half inches. So I'm gonna type in two point five. Hit enter. Okay. And also, my diagram says from this point here I'm and this point here across the bottom, my diagram says that should be uh, 8.75. 8.75. That's what my diagram, that's what I wanted to be. Okay. 8.75. So, all my dimensions are in here. Okay, let me see. I need, I need to line them up though. See, I don't see if I can click on this dimension here. Wait, enter and just keep there. Oh, wait. Okay, those are all my dimensions. If you look at the diagram that was downloaded up in the teams, you will see all these dimensions are equal. 